Hello, everybody! Welcome to Vesper's Retro Reviews. I'm Ramses. And I'm the Vesper. And we're back for part three of our Diablo 2 Resurrected Dual Druid playthrough as we work our way to beat Act 1. So, uh, where'd we leave off? Last time you joined us, we were uh, on our way to Andario. We're on to the last stretch of the act here. So, uh, any words of advice to everybody before we get started here? As I've been circling the entire time that you've been saying this, we're on to get the Roderick Malice, then kill Duriel. So, okay. or Anduriel, or Duriel, Anduriel, I don't know which one. No, Duriel is Act 2, and Duriel is Act, act 1. Whatever, we're, we're out to kill the demon chick. So that's yeah, all that's that matters. Right. right, so we're going to get the hell out of uh, the, uh, the, uh, the hammer, yeah, and then we're going to, uh, uh, you know. Get the hell? Right we're not in hell yet. No, no, hammer, talking? hammer. Uh, not the, 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 I don't call it the Herodric Malice, it's just a hammer, right? No, it's the Herodric Malice. Why is it called that? Because it's a Malice. And it's Herodric? That's right. What do you oh, expect, so my... Can... Jerry Wolf came get that right, good lord. It's not been that long since we last played. No, it really hasn't, actually. For a change, for, 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 we're actually being honest for once. Yeah. Yep. Alright, so let's see. Uh, to the outer cloister is where we need to cloister, go. Cloister, you say cloister? Outer cloister. Hmm. So let's see how far we can get tonight. What's all these wolves doing here? What is this? Evil flows from here. Ooh, evil flows from here. Well, I can tell you right now it's because I can't rely on your Jerry Wolf to uh, get me there, so I had to summon my own armies. Well, I, I, I don't think you have a lot of confidence in them. I just stated that. I didn't stutter, uh, did I? I guess he did stay there. You're going the wrong way anyways. You need to go north. Huh? You're going the wrong way, that's how we came in. We gotta go north. Oh. Hmm. I thought we were just getting some uh, extra experience. Well, you know what's so funny about this is... They give us these... Uh, they give us the isometric view that this is, and well... It's kind of hard to navigate because you're like... North is sort of like... Top and to the right. You know, so there you go. Get your. Oh no, I didn't realize. Let's get your Jerry oh, Wolf in here. I, I don't need to explain this to you. You're a druid. I guess I'm just explaining for the home audience since a uh, Jerry Wolf like yourself navigates by instinct, right? So you never get right. lost, right? That's right. See? I'm Introduce, glad, glad uh, made back to us, uh, you know, being lost for. Like an hour on our first playthrough, and you have to. Yeah, but that wasn't my fault. You were the one leading the way then. No, you're the werewolf. You were. You're like, oh look, I'm a werewolf. La 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 la. I know everything. I never went la di da da. Yes, you did. It's implied. Jiminy Christmas. Let me get away from that thing. Man, everywhere I go, there's something with shoots lightning. Do your job. Kill stuff. There we go. Uh, do I need anything? <clears throat> no, I, just... I need a light healing potion. Alright, here's the mollusk. We found it already. That was easy. What? Really? Yeah. Uh-oh, there's someone guarding it. <laughs> of course there is. Long. It's the Smith. His name is Smith? Boy, what a common name. The Smith. There it's like go. his first name or something. Bug Smith? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get the hammer. It's hammer time. Did you get one, or do I get it? No, it, it completed the quest, I think, for us. If not, it's oh, not like we can't just it? go back and redo it again. Off yeah. screen, so that all you says to literally watch us run around in circles trying to get a stupid hammer. Good lord. That would be boring as crap. But the yeah, main sure. important thing is, is, uh, I want to ask, what type of monastery is this? Well, it looks like it's a... Well, <laughs> I'm waiting. It looks like it's one that makes a lot of <laughs> wine. See all the wine barrels here? Oh yeah, red wine, right? Because, you know, I'm yeah, looking at all right. this stuff. a lot of wine. They have a lot of bo random bookshelves. A lot of rooms that go nowhere. More wine. Here's some wine. It's supposed to be a place of learning, but 
honestly, it looks like they're, uh, you know, people that, uh, during the prohibition, who delivered wine. Yeah, it looks, looks like they were like. hoarding wine before they got overtaken by the evil dude. They're like, we are going to be evil and make wine. Because that's what evil people do, is make wine. Well, yeah, it's a good business. So I guess that's what type of monster it was. It was one of those uh, that doubled as a uh, illegal, uh, what are they called, prohibition uh, brewery, the uh, uh, wine maker. Yeah, that's it. Too bad I can't think straight. Because I can't even remember the name of what they called the bootleggers. Ha ha! There, audience. Ah, there you go. I yeah, figured so that out. <laughs> bootleggers. Yeah, that's exactly what they are. So now you know. See, yes. Yeah, but answer. let's take a moment and have one of those smart moments and go, bootleggers? What the heck does that have to do with anything? A boot and a leg? I, I don't understand. Well, I don't either. Why are people that run alcohol called bootleggers? Do they wear Wait, boots on. on their legs? No Bars can't hold a force of nature. Did you hear that? Bars can't hold the force of nature. That's right. But they can hold you. What? Let's get back to uh, the adventure. All right, where are we? We're on the jail. All right, we're in jails. We were so even actually the jail having head. a rousing discussion about bootlegging. Oh, that's right, bootlegging. That's right. Because obviously our audience wants to hear us talk about something. Oh, what did he take? What did he take? Huh? Now, huh? now if you watch the last video, you'll see how much stuff he took without telling me, right, folks? Now, don't maybe introduce the montage of you taking every other yellow item and every item in the game that I can't touch. No, there's no montage because it didn't happen. Uh huh. He says that. But next on Vex for Gaming, the montage of him stealing all my loot. I have nothing. Right? You're stealing everything and you're taking every item. And he's done this every year since 1999 or whenever this game came out in 2001. He's done this every time. Well, there's a reason for that. Do you know what that reason is? No, what is that reason? I'm better than you. Well, you ask a question, you got an answer for me. Well, I mean, I thought the answer was self explanatory. Howard, man, this place is honestly going to be a nightmare at higher levels. Oh, I know. I don't even know if we're going to show the folks here. I think we're just doing a normal playthrough, but yes, take his word on it. This gets really nasty when you're on the higher difficulty. I mean, if you all want us to do a playthrough at a higher difficulty, I mean, we'd be glad to later on, but we've got so much stuff on our uh, list of things to do for you to put out good that's content. That's true. We have a huge agenda of stuff that's coming up. I mean, we're, we're really stuck following the... the uh... The ideas and the footage and the gameplays and the recordings. I mean, we have a lot of stuff in store for you for 2022. Definitely stay tuned. You're going to like it. Yep, because if you can't shield for your shell self, who can you shield for? No, no. We should only shield for ourselves. That's right. Because, you know, we absolutely make the best content. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, maybe not the best, but we're up there uh, in the million range somewhere, right? That's right. The million best, maybe? We are definitely in the top million. Oh, there you go, sir. So, I mean, just feel how honored you all should be that you get to watch somebody in the You're top million. You're watching top one million content. Now, that's the that's same thing. I'm telling you. That's right. Considering there's, what, uh, billions of videos on YouTube? That's pretty good. That's right. And we are not rated the worst. No, no, definitely not. So, so yeah, but, but all kidding aside, we have a lot of fun stuff uh, planned here, and we hope to hear from a lot of you and spread the word. Vespers Retro Reviews, where retro gaming is uh, retro gaming, movie, TV, and everything else retro is still alive to this day. So definitely check us out. We're here to stay, and we will honor everything from the past and then some. Yep, like bootlegging, because you know you want to yeah, see us uh, be all retro from the nineteen like twenties and uh, uh, checkpoints here. Where, oh, uh, there, okay. Yeah. Hey, Jerry Wolf, you did something right. Congratulations. I he said I couldn't track books. I found that. Hold on a second. Let's see what we got. Let's go back. Oh, yeah. Let's talk to what's her name? Charlie? 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 No, we got to talk to our favorite person, Deckard Kane. 
Hello there. Stay a while and listen. Hello. Well, let's go here and sell, sell, sell. Nope. Uh-uh. Nope, and uh-uh. Uh-uh. Alright, let's head back. Alright, we just arrived back from delivering Charcy her malice. And, uh, right, by yep. the way, uh, one of those few times we're actually going to point out something, uh, don't use it till much later in the game. Because... I mean, if you use it now, you're just going to waste it on a low-level item, so save it. Yeah, the game gets much harder, you get much cooler items. Why use it now when it's going to be stuff that you're going to get rid of anyway? You save it for later in the game when it could be something very useful. Absolutely. And also, another person, right. whoever designed this is a total idiot, because look how far you have to go to walk around to get to the actual stairs. And honestly, why? It, it makes no sense. What type of jail is this? Uh, let's just make it really uh, long-winded and winding all over the place. I know why it is. It's like the person who designed the cube from Hellraiser. I, I never figured it out. After no, I don't want to We're going to hell after all, so it makes sense, right? I guess. I don't think any horror movie makes sense. Fruit Hawk Helm. I wonder if that's the one that actually I need to use. I'm not going to put it on, cause, but I want to see if it works. I think oh, there's nothing girl... on this one. Great. I think my girl died, and I wasn't even paying attention. I told you that was just going to happen. That's why I don't put any stock in these minions. No. I mean, we've talked about briefing before, but... I mean, the minions in Diablo 2 are far inferior to the minions in Diablo 3, but even in Diablo 3, they're still not that good. Uh, let's explore a little more. Of course, I want Wait. loot. I mean, this, I mean, got... we're here to save the world, so we gotta end all evil, right? That's right, we can't leave any evil around. I mean, what type of... That's right, evil? and we can't leave anything that the evil drops, either. No, that has to be put to good use of Vanquish Morty. Especially if it's gold. It has to yeah. be purified. Ah, there's a charm, who gives it? It's a grand charm, so it's probably gonna be trash at this level. Right? Yeah. Well, you didn't see me running to pick it up, did you? Well, myself for some money. I like money. It allows me to buy more stuff. So I can kill uh -huh. more demons to save this world with. I'm not totally greedy. I just like to use the money in uh, creative ways to enhance my uh, world-saving adventure. Your world-saving adventure? We're, we're a team here. You're the Jerry Wolf. You're my minion. Everything yeah, well, that I, I do know. brings glory to myself and to my minions and my followers, so... Of course, you're helping too. You're just like Hamburger Helper. Well, I guess that's better than being the Hamburger. Oh well, no, I was actually referring to the kid that goes, and I helped. <laughs> right. And I helped. Help yourself. Help yourself. Help yourself to Starfish Pizza. Oh, stop with that. We already had talk about this last time. Oh, you don't want me to sing jingles anymore? No. Because, quite frankly, you can't sing. And what? It... What do you mean I can't sing? Well, let me like, phrase that. There? You can sing, but it makes my ears bleed. Ah. Oh. Well, isn't that a good thing? And you wonder why I treat you so poorly. <laughs> Man, there's like nothing here. Yeah, it's it, it, it's kind of garbage. And by the Monster way, God. I also recommend that uh, when you're playing this to actually do what we're doing, you need the levels because at higher levels, it's going to get infinitely hard. Uh oh, that's the bad curse. That's like the bad cursed. Sash, I picked it up. <laughs> Let's see if it's. I don't want this gun. Let's... Hurry up and look at it. Uh, let's see. It's only three defense. It's kind of sucks. Well, I mean, we're almost in the range of getting actually good stuff, so. Yeah, well, it stinks. Not as much as you. Go take a bath, you freaking werewolf. What? I take a bath. Hey, look, 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 right here. 
You see this blood everywhere? Why does it look yeah. like something's been rolling around in it? Oh, do you have five wolves following you? Blame one of them. Well, my wolves are white. You're red. No, I'm I'm white also, remember? Or grayish white? Oh, yes. Does it look like he's covered in blood? Look at his arms and his legs. I think no, that you should just uh, go speak to a doctor, you know. There was this wonderful saying that if you stare into the abyss long enough, the abyss will stare back. I can't help but feel that uh, you may be staring into the abyss too much. Or, by my other thought is, is that you're just some dirty dog that likes to roll around in foul-smelling stuff. So, I mean, it's one I, or the I, other. I take great offense to you insulting wolves like this. Well, I'm not assaulting wolves. I'm just insulting you. Oh, well, all right. That, that's the case. Because, I mean, quite frankly, I mean, look how beautiful my wolves are. They kill armies and protect me and bring me food and items and just generally make I'm my doing? life better. <laughs> you? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm killing everything here. Are you now? Yes. The way I see it, yeah. you're only killing things when you're not. Um, that doesn't make sense. It makes perfect sense. See, your... Your wolfish mind could not comprehend my expansive knowledge, being a oh, senator. Look at this room. What would you say goes on here? You have seats. You have a... Guy hanging off of a hook here. Half his body's left. So were they watching this guy get ripped apart? Um, Look at this. I'm going to say that uh, it was a magic act gone wrong. I mean, after wow. all, I mean they got candles and everything. This is this is crazy. I mean, who would do this to someone? And they have a table back here. What, what was that for? Hors d'oeuvres and snacks and stuff? Of course it was. Wow. This Andariel, she's twisted. I'll tell or is it the nobility? Because I will point this out. From what I understand, nobility likes to do perverse, twisted things. Yeah, well... That's why we're druids! Might makes we're right not, in our world. We're not noble anything. We live off the land and we're like bums. But... No. It's called being noble whenever you live a proud lifestyle that doesn't uh, take away from so anybody else's. We're pretty much monks, then, that can do some magical stuff. No, if we were monks, we'd be dead. Because we're in the monastery. Think on oh, that. Oh, yeah. Sure. Give us money. How do we get the call? How do we get the call? Oh, there's a door. Secret door. What do I even bring you around? You're supposed to figure this out. I have to do it all. Do I look like Scooby-Doo to you here? If only I had Scooby-Doo. At least he was useful. Zoinks. <laughs> and I also don't want to be shaggy. So, uh, there's you know. that. Now, wait a second. I'm thinking here. Wasn't Shaggy only supposed to be showing 1% of his power? That's right, it was Shaggy, yeah. That's right. No, I want to be Shaggy. Ultra Instinct Shaggy all the way. Yeah, now he wants to. Well, when there's power involved, I mean, who doesn't want to be all-powerful? I don't know. It sounds like it's... A lot to handle. Shaggy does it pretty well, so if he can do it, I know I can do it. What does Shaggy do? He gets sent away by Fred all the time to, to deal with Scooby as he, as Fred's smooching with the girls the whole time. Uh-huh. Well, you know what? Through the power of editing, I'm going to show you a clip, a very Crystal short Friday, clip, of Shaggy Grabbing a hold of Scorpion and defeating him. No, what? Well, that never happened. Ah, look at it. It's on your screen right there. What? Get over here, man. Well, I'll be. He's right, folks. How does he do it? And where uh, do you get that clip from? We're in the middle of a game. How do you do that? Uh, we don't have any clips loaded up here. Well, it's called me being an editor. As in, uh, like I make an edit and you have to do it. Right, I do all the work around here while you, you, you come up with the clips out of thin air. 
Hey, there are doers and there are thinkers. You are and a doer. Both, right? Yes. I was just going to say that I respect your ability to do whatever I say because, you know, somebody has to. Yeah, well. As I was saying about 2022, there's going to be some changes around here, folks. That's right. More of me and less of him. So, I mean, after all, who wouldn't want to see more of me? Well, does my vote count? Well, by judging by the fact that when I slap you, we keep losing subscribers. So, I mean, that tells us who they want more. <laughs> Doesn't that mean they feel my pain as you do that? So you're saying we have a very empathetic audience? Well, I don't think so. We are a retro channel. We should be attracting more Gen X and less, uh, you know, the other variety. So that you're saying our audience is watching us to see you suffer in pain? Well, maybe they can relate to the own suffering they've had to deal with in life as they've gotten to this point in their uh, existence. And how things are not like how they used to be, and it's fun to watch retro, but they feel poor Ramses is a representation of where we stand now in the world. Quit trying to be so philosophical. You're Occam's Razor. The simplest explanation is obviously the correct one. Which is... The fact it's that... It's fun beating me up. That's right. <laughs> All right, so now we're in the inner cloister. You remember we started in the outer cloister? Now we're in the inner cloister. Just think that if you're at this monastery, you have to go through all of that to get to the center of this place. It doesn't I seem know, worth it. Imagine actually walking when there was no monsters here. It still would take you like an hour to get from one side of it to the other. I tell you what, that's better. That's better defense than any moat. Yeah. Well, let's make him walk around. Walk, 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 walk. Like we're playing, uh, what is it, Lord of the Rings, the game here, with all the walking? Actually, I was surprised that you weren't complimenting me on taking you for a long walk. After all, don't dogs like walks? No, I, first of all, wolf, and second of all, I don't, I, I don't kneel to anybody. I can handle it myself, thank you very much. You don't kneel to anyone, you kneel to me all the time. Who are you, Zod? Ah, uh, to only be like Zod. Yeah, well. Everybody knows oh, to him. That man understands bonus. respect. Did I pick up the heavy boots that you didn't see? I better uh, drink that before I die of poison. That wouldn't happen. Yeah, I definitely don't want to die before you. Yeah, well, I'm a werewolf, so good luck with that. It's gotta get silver something or the other. There's no silver in this world. Well, you know what that means? It means you're going to be living proof of you can be surprised at what you live through. Oh, no. You can be surprised what you're going to live through. That's right. Name what movie that's from, folks. We're not going to tell you. Name what movie that was from. Well, all I'm going to say is that I'm only second rate. That's right. Oh, look, we're in the catacombs. <laughs> All that... The supernatural is strong Big. here. What gave you that idea to begin with? We've been killing demons and skeletons since the moment we set foot in this monastery, and just now you're like, oh, oh gee, this is, uh, yeah. oh gee, I just, I just think there's something uh, here now. What gave it away, hot shot? Well, we drew it is... a very observant. I'll tell you. Is it these demons? Was it the skeletons? Was it the imps? Was it the butcher? Was it the fact that Diablo is roaming all over the lands in the in the Wanderer's body and uh, spreading demons everywhere? I mean, that's like going outside and going, gee, there's air out here. <laughs> we have a good way of stating the obvious. That's what we druids do, all right? So you just have to do. Or better yet, walking to a forest and going, Gee, there's a tree here. Well, trees. We're very good with trees. That's our Druid nature. Yeah. Can't you summon, like, plants if you wanted to? Actually, I could, but I don't want to, because plants are lame. Well, I mean, they're not as cool as, you know, giant dire wolves. That's right, giant dire wolves. 
Ravens. I mean, what's not to love about Ravens, after all? Odin has Ravens. So that means yeah, the gods does. have them. That means they're cool, right? Yeah, a lot of gods use Raven as a form. I think, uh, what's her name does also? Oh, what was it? Morgan. Yeah, that's right, the Morgan. There you go. Here's a jawbone cap for you. So, uh, let's see if it's even worth it, because it might be... Oh, it's Barbarian. Uh, now he knows why I let him get it, folks. Don't tell him. You know, you're not getting any kibble and bits tonight. Why? That's terrible. How can you say that? Acting so smart like you're handing me a Barbarian, I'm like... Gee, I'll give you this yellow when I can't use it. But well, you were complaining that I'm taking yellow, so I said, right, Actually, I don't care because I'm going to take it out of your hide later, so there you go. So why is there to be worried about anything? Well, you can at least pretend. Well, you better hope and pray that I forget. You'll forget. No, I won't. Next time we do our playthrough, he'll be like, Gee, Ramses, looks like you lost some weight. I wonder what happened. Yeah, you stole all my stuff when, uh, as you held me upside down over my uh, stash, you know? That's right, and you got to shake, because that loot just doesn't fall out of your pockets without any help. No. You are cruel, you know? I am better than cruel. I am. You're not the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. That's right. Because remember, if you want to be the man, you got to beat the man. Woo! There you go. He did it, folks. He did it. Just remember that. Only on the best for retro reviews. So we do. Yep. And this video will be up for all of 10 minutes where Ric Flair watches and then strikes us. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. I bet you Ric Flair would like us. Do you know he's doing commercials again? Yeah. I think he's selling what, the insurance or something? Or well, I mean, to be fair, even Mr. T is selling stuff. Oh, and don't forget Jimmy Walker from A Good Time. That's the one that... Right. Well, people on this channel will at least know who Jimmy Walker is. I hope. Well, they'll know who Mr. T and who... Uh, who was the, Oh, and Ric Flair, everyone. They'll, they'll know all three of them. Well, we hope so. But we're not going to show those commercials. No, no. We, we only do uh, old commercials. Those are too new. They're old, but the commercials are new, right? <laughs> well, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot What's to summon my spirit to give us extra health. Oh, no wonder I've been dying so Oh, yeah, I never died. That's right. You're too stubborn to die. That's right. It's the werewolf in me. I'm not sure if it's the werewolf in you or just... Fate wants you to survive and suffer. And suffer I do, folks. Suffer I do. You try dealing with this uh, egomaniac. I am not an egomaniac. I just happen to be as awesome as I think I am. Well, at least he's not a Lego maniac. That's right. Because, I mean, after all, you can see just how well I do at NBA Jam and Street Fighter. Like a true <laughs> pro. That's right. Be sure to watch those videos, folks. We're not shilling here. No, no, no. Zack, Zack, he's a Lego maniac. Zack, wait, is Zach, this all right? He's a Lego maniac. Keep your eye out for the uh, wait. Oh, we're on the final uh, area. She's she should be around here. All right, so what we got to do is first clear out this room. Oh wait, this is not the final room. What are we talking? About? No, I said this is where the waypoint's at. Oh, okay. So we gotta find the stinking waypoint. He builds in the cities, he builds on the walls, he's a Lego maniac above all. Didn't yeah, no, we have this discussion before? Oh, it's over here. Oh yeah, no singing commercial jingles. Yeah. Unless I give you express permission. Now, with the holiday season coming up, I might let you sing another song. Uh, oh, I want you that? to uh, choose a good one. Alright, alright, uh, let's see. You know, like the good classic ones, like, you know, Jingle Bells, Batman Smells, Robin Laid an Egg. Batmobile broke its will and Joker got away. Hey! No, it's season greeting in our souls. Yummy fruity pebbles in our bowls. Uh oh, here comes you know who. Yabba dabba fruit delicious too. Oh ho ho, I'm ha ha hungry. Santa, 
My pebbles, your pebbles, tis the season to be sharing, Fred. Well, wow, this is actually good for a barbarian. Happy holidays, pal. Ah, Fred. Post fruity and cocoa pebbles, part of this complete balanced breakfast. Ho, 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 ho. And you know what the best hey, part about this that? is, folks? He wasted his once a year song on that, so we don't have to listen to sing ever again. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You said only one? You said one? I said one. I did not stutter. But that that's it. That, I can't do any more of that. Well, I don't know. Maybe the audience will clap their hands and they want you to sing again. Come on, audience. Start clapping. Right, yep, yep. Come on, audience. There you go. Did you hear Oh, yes. Yes, I did. Because right. you just edited in people clapping. <laughs> would I do something like that? Yes. Yes, you would. But a deal is a deal, so I guess we'll uh, let you sing later on. Uh, oh, good. Well. All right, we're back. All right, and now to continue on with our adventure. We're in Catacombs Level 2. Here we go. We're working our way to Andariel. She's the big bad of Act 1. And, uh, let's see. What else can I tell you guys of, that's of, uh, use? Uh, you can tell them about how great I am. Well, Vesper is... Wait a minute, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to talk about. It's the only thing you should talk about. But, uh, man, we already found the way down. That's so odd. I don't get how they built these places. Did it someone just, no like, sense. randomly put walls everywhere and just be like, yeah, this looks good, uh, we're drunk while we're building this, but no one will notice? It's almost like the creators of this world just put things around randomly to make it more difficult for those that traverse it. Yeah, it does seem that way. A malicious higher power, to say the least. Not on the level of Hale and Diablo, but still malicious. No, no, no. Just in a different way. Alright, yeah. Speaking of which, what level are we? 15. I don't know, what are we? Uh, we're level 15. Right? Yeah, I'm checking to see when I can get my dire wolves, which is level 18, so we'll probably end up we being. Got a way to go. Act 2. Yeah, well, we'll end up being Duriel before then, so I was just kind of curious. But I will not lie when I say we're making excellent time. Yeah, we're doing well for ourselves. Oh, here's a Chaos Crawler the Slayer. Absolutely. And he exploded. He exploded with a passion. Left an ice bomb in his way. And I'll take some of these healing potions because, quite frankly, I need them. Well, in there? I did. Anything down that way? Yeah. yeah as a werewolf, uh, I can heal with my bites here, or my swipes, or whatever. And yeah, you were I can complaining heal with about my bites, them. But You're like, oh, it's so bad to be a werewolf. I, I use mana to heal myself. Thereby well, obtaining a sort of level of immortality. Well, you were complaining about it. No, I was complaining about you. Oh. Complaining well, about fine. complaining about him. You're complaining about me complaining about him. That's right. That's so meta. Ouch. Yeah, sure. There's minions amongst us. Look okay. Give them my pretties. Do you want to explain what the minions can do? They sort of like uh, have a little bit of the power of the boss that they're around us. So like if the boss is lightning in his hands, they'll have a little bit of a lightning ability too. Something if like the boss that. is super fast, they'll be super fast. Or they'll be faster. I think it's like a weaker version of whatever. The boss. Yeah, that's why oh wow, we actually them. found one place in the room that has a carpet. Oh, okay. Uh -oh, oh, I... Another boss. Uh oh, who is this? It's uh, Gore Widow. Go get him, my minions. Gore Widow. This is why I have you for to do all of my work for me. Now you want to give your uh, hunter a better bow here, your minion? Nope, the because girl. we're that close to literally uh, not seeing. Oh her yeah, she'll die in Daryl anyway. Yeah. No, no, she That's doesn't die. Her. She just sort of stays behind, like. Goodbye, farewell, Alvita and good night. But I'll get a new helper on Act Two. I like the guy that has the auras in it. Well, also he also has a, the spear. a spear. Yeah, that's it. Or is it the Barducci? Bardich, Barducci, Barducci. Oh, there's one now. Bardich. B A R D I C H E. 
Bardich. Bardishimo. Bardich. Do the Bardishimo. <laughs> do, 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 do the Bardishimo. Ooh, giant spiders. I know there's a lot of people in the ice going. Ew. I was never scared of spiders. Well, I think these would qualify to help you develop that nice phobia. Yeah, I guess these spiders I would be scared of. But we got them. We got them. I'm gonna pick up some keys. I gotta really do some more keys. How do you have two rings of keys? Oh, you got a lot of keys. Isn't it amazing how every chest has the same exact lock on? I know, right? Is there like one guy that makes chests in the whole kingdom? Oh, I saw a. Uh... I guess. Kelly like Potion wanted. Whoops. He only the door that way. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna check the videotape and see what he really got, right, folks? As you can see, I got everything. Yeah. Well. Somebody come back through here and like lock the doors. I don't know. I thought we opened all the doors. Like, there's ghosts. I would say it, it could be ghosts, but that's probably not far from the truth. There are ghosts in this world. So. That's right. And we can kill ghosts with our swords. Yeah, ghosts that amazing? The Ghostbusters were doing it entirely wrong. All you need is just some gigantic swords and axes and just hack at them, and, and that's it. You can defeat any ghost. That's right. Who needs a proton, proton thrower? Pack. So you want to tell everybody we actually saw the new Ghostbusters? Well, by new Ghostbusters, we're talking about Afterlife, not 2016. Yeah, Afterlife. That's right, Afterlife. Yeah, we wouldn't watch the 16. We're like James. Well, if we watched 2016, we'd be Ghost too. so... <laughs> oh, no, you, you didn't hear that, folks. We're, we're very, we're, we don't get involved with politics. Oh, this isn't politics. That's just a bad movie. Did I say anything well, about politics? Well, I, uh... No, you didn't know. But anyway, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good, the Afterlife movie. That's my official review on it, and unfortunately, no, we will not review it here. That is not a retro movie. That is a, uh, a continuation of an old series done again. Now, we might do a back-in-time on it and compare it to the others, but we won't yeah, do a review Yeah, that'd be about it. as far as we go with it. We wouldn't do a full review. Let's head on down. Are you ready to go down? He's going yeah. down. I don't feel like he's spoiling right, the rest of the story. All right, all right, wait, wait. All right, folks, so this is it. She lays in a few rooms past us. So what you have to do now is you open that door and you got to clear everything out because you don't want all these monsters around you while you're fighting in there, you see. So we got to clear out this room here. There's a large room with a lot of, of those, uh, what are they called, dark ones, yeah. And you got oh, wow. The in the dark ones, Bone yeah. tail spines are here. You know, that, oh, wow, that's... look at those bones. There. Oh, how did she do that? That's so uh... She's a crazy woman. That's her demon. Well, is it that pool of blood she bays in? Did it? Was that the giveaway? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, yeah, that might be a sign that there's that, that she's. That there's not pure old. evil here. Yes, yes, exactly. I get these shaman. Get these shaman. You see, I am not evil. Oh wait, here's I'm... another uh, yellow for you over here. I found a yellow for you. Hatchet hands. <laughs> That's really? The cheapest <laughs> Yeah, I found it all. That might be worth a nickel. A nice shiny yeah, nickel working. to someone. <laughs> See, wasn't I nice? I'm, I'm giving yellow items and he's complaining. I'm going to make you tank Enduriel here. What? No, I'm not ready for this. Oh, wait, we still have to clean out some more. You better get ready. Wait, right, here's another shaman. 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 Shaman! Shaman, shaman. Oh, you are just a foul mouth. Oh, here she is! Jerry Wolf. Alright, I poisoned her first. How about that? Oh, she poisoned me. La la! I just keep summoning wolves. Which is hilarious. Go get them, wolves! Well, my army seems to be doing pretty good, wouldn't you say? <laughs> That's funny. She said die, and then guess what we did? We killed. The sword might be worth it. So who gets it? We'll see why it is. Alright, I'll pick it. Because in all honesty, I'd rather give it to you than me use it. Because quite frankly, I once I get to a certain level, I won't be hitting a single thing. 
Because I will not be putting any points into dexterity. Yeah, you're gonna do the necromancer routine. Oh, let me just summon everything while I stand back here and. Hey, don't not being an evil. I mean, a evil. leader of men like me. Yeah, well, I don't you know, know what I have to say about all this. What? Blood for the blood, God skulls for the skull through. No, I don't know what book you got that from. Something I'll never read. I'm sure. All right, people. Fans of 40k, enlighten him in the comments section. Oh no, section. not that again. He says 40k, 40k. I'm like, what? 40,000 what? And he's like, oh, 40k. I'm like, 40,000 what? And he still never tells him. Well, I want you to find out by yourself and get involved and fall in love with the fandom. Here we go. Talk to Decker Cage. Right. This is a great victory indeed. This is a great victory indeed, but many more battles await. I, I will accompany you on your journey. Well, that's nice. I didn't invite you, but okay. So we've talked to everybody here. They basically are cow-telling to us and telling us how great we are. So that means that now that we've beaten the mistress here, all we have to do is talk to Warif. And he'll be like, do you want to go east? Oh, look, it says go east. Well, so, then let's go east, and then we'll wrap this up. All right, let's go see what's in the east. Oh, wow, Ramses, did you see that wonderful cutscene? I sure did. That was a lot of fun. I, I, I'm i sorry you guys missed it. Oh, it was it was thrilling. Uh, yeah, you'll have to take our word on it, but wow. That was epic. You had a desert. You had a dead camel. You had, uh, what was it, uh, Luke Galeen. You had uh, Tal Raja. Wow, what, it was great. Yeah, Marius basically finding out that you're the next person we're going to have to slay in that tomb. So. Ah, what a cliffhanger. Sorry, guys. I guess uh, you missed it. I don't know where you guys went. We, we were watching it, and uh, everyone disappeared. Well, we're here in Luke Goulain now, and uh, we made better time than we thought possible traveling across the uh, vast desert. Took us, what, about, what, two or three minutes? Yeah, that was a fast travel. You would think, wow, this vast desert, and we're like, oh, here we are. Anyway, so that was our Act 1. So Act 1 was fun. It was easy. It's going to get a lot harder from here, folks. So, yeah, that was a nice uh, warm-up for what to expect in this game. Act 2 will definitely up the difficulty. We're going to have a lot of places to search, a lot of desert crawling, a lot of interesting uh, tombs to go through. And, yeah, we hope you join us next time because we're going to tackle Act 2 next time as we work our way to Duriel, who's one of the harder uh, bosses in this game. If you're not oh, he is. For... Definitely he is. But you know what's going to happen next time? We're going to get our level 18 skills, so that's going to be awesome. Ah, yes, level 18. That's where the fun stuff starts to happen. All right, thanks for joining us, everybody, for part three of our Diablo 2 Resurrected Dual Druid playthrough. We shall see you next time. Same place, same channel, same Vesper and Ramses. And, uh, yeah, uh, any last parting words, uh, Vesper? Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and, and ring that bell. Ding, ding. That's right. See you all next time on Vesper's Retro Reviews. Take care. Bye-bye, everybody.